Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend. Just want to say thank you for the support in the channel. And if you guys follow me on Instagram and Patreon and all the other social medias that I do have. So I just wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys the VPI and the IMG BOAs that I own. And we're back on the BOAs, so I think a lot of you guys will like that. Um, I don't have too many of them just because they are a little pricey. Uh, so I can't really go over a lot of jeans about them, but I'll just try to hit the basics if some of you guys are a little curious on um, either one of how those jeans work. And I'll try to explain it the best I can, and hopefully I don't butcher the names or anything like that. So trying to learn as much as I can about the jeans on the Boas and the Bull Pythons and Burmese. And so it's all just kind of hurting my brain. There's so much involved into it. And once you start adding five, six, seven jeans into an animal, it's just, it's just, Hurts. It definitely is uh, mind blowing to me on on how people can make these incredible animals and stuff like that, and how everything just works together is just insane. But let's check out the VPI. So we don't have her up there because she's kind of hard to see and she's small, so she's a little um, hard to handle. So we'll bring her her tub down, and then I do have a hide for her since she is pretty small, and this is a fairly large tub for a couple month old boa um, just to give her a little bit more security while she eats I've had no issues with her eating she's not regurgitated for me which is awesome so a little bit of security in here has probably helped her out a long way um, so let's go over what she is so this is my 2021 um, VPI jungle and she is um, like I said, the VPI. So it's the, the Vita Preciosa uh, International, and I probably b butchered saying that. I'm not really sure why it's called that, per se, but I do believe that the Barkers founded this line of albinoism sometime in the 70s or 80s, and then, then they were working with it, and then I'm assuming they sold it off to other bigger breeders, and they were working with it, and... 2021 here we are with vpis with every single gene under the sun mixed in with them and i just think they look really really nice i don't have a normal vpi just to like show you guys what they look like but as far as i know and what i'm understanding is it is part of the albino gene but it's not a 100 percent complete albino bloodline so a lot of people would consider it as the caramel albino or the T positive, because as you can see, and even on the normal ones, there still are some black and grays mixed in with the coloration on it. And they don't have the traditional um, albino eyes. So this is the jungle, but I've seen the original or like the basic VPI. And then I, don't, I didn't notice on them that they have the, the common trait for uh, the albino, the albinoism in the eyes. So um, kind of interesting that they um, still call it the albino when it's not a full 100% complete trait. So we'll put the her little area back in here and then we'll put her away because I don't want her getting out and escaping. But so far she's been doing very well in the room. And let's check out the IMG. So the IMG is the increasing melanistic gene. And what's interesting about that is as they age and as they shed, they get darker and darker until a lot of them are almost solid black. So this is the IMG Motley, which is, he is a 2021. I keep on calling this a female because I have almost all of my boas and majority of my snakes are all females. So I'm just wired in my brain to call all of them females, but this is a male. Um, so a lot of people think that the IMG Motley's come out as solid dark but sometimes that's really not the case. Sometimes it takes them a couple months to start showing or a couple sheds to start showing that they have the IMG in them. And I do understand that 
some breeders, once um, these babies are born, they uh, they like to hold back the IMG Motleys for a couple sheds just to make sure that it actually has IMG in them because the Motleys are a pretty dark gene anyways. So you never want to sell a, a dark Motley off too soon because uh, it might not be have IMG in it. As far as I've um, been told is that the IMG is also not a complete dominant gene. It's a, uh, I forget what the word is, incomplete dominant, where you could breed an IMG to let's just say jungle hypo that has no IMG and you could miss the IMGs in all of the babies. So that kind of, <laughs> that sucks. So, I mean, if you get an IMG and you try to pass it on, it might not happen. But, I mean, bows have 20 babies, can have 20 babies, so pretty sure you're gonna, you're gonna get something IMG out of that. And then it, 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 it's the increasing, so some IMGs get darker faster than others. I've seen just a normal IMG go solid black within four, five, six months. I've seen some IMG Motley's go within in six months. I've seen some take up to a year before they're um, solid black. So, I mean, it's just a really cool animal to buy young and then watch them transition into their darker phases. And then we have another IMG. So this is the Motley Hypo Jungle IMG and it's het for snow, but since it's het, um, that doesn't do anything for the coloration on her. And um, she's about to shed. So she came out of blue, she came back to her normal colors in the next day or two, probably two or three days, she's gonna shed out. So this is basically what she's gonna look like after her shed. She's been getting darker and darker ever since I got her at the beginning of the year. So I'm not really sure how dark she's actually gonna get, but she has a lot of nice iridescence on her. And when I got her, her tail was really red, a rusty red, and then as we can see, it's starting to really darken, darken up. I have noticed that when you add stuff into an IMG, it doesn't always necessarily turn black or super dark. I've seen some IMG Motley's and some, I, or not Motley's, IMG Hypo's, IMG um, Ghosts where the sides of them are really dark, maybe the head is really dark, but the bodies uh, retain some of the coloration on them, even as adults, so it's kind of like a 50, 50, 75 um, coloration, which is kind of cool. So you can get these really awesome uh, multi-gene IMGs and they don't go solid black where you can still see what's happening um, in, with, in with the animal. So I'm sure she'll go a much darker than that the IMG Mar Motley, he should go almost jet black within the, within the year, I would assume. I would, I hope so. Hopefully sooner than a year. And then we have the I, and then we'll go into the, uh, um, the VPI Aztec, which a lot of you guys already know a little bit about her. So I did put a little hide in with her because I thought this might make her feel a little bit more secure since she hates me. Uh, no, that's not the case. So she still hates me. She still huffs and puffs and strikes at me and I don't need any more snakes biting me this week. So we'll take the, we'll take the hook and then she'll probably be all fired up so we can hear her get fired up. So we're not gonna bug her too much. Um, she is gonna shed out here in the next couple days, but her colors have come back and brightened to what she's gonna look like um, after she sheds. So you can see that her jaw is a little, has some saggy skin and then some loose skin behind um, her jawline and on her neck. So that's a good indication that she's about to shed out. So we can see the VPI coloration on her and then we can see the Aztec uh, pattern and colors. And I love Aztecs. I just love the busyness and the crazy um, patterns and stuff like that. But she looks really good and hopefully we'll see when she uh, gets older, what she looks like, because I've never seen adults um, how they look, so hopefully she still stays um, nice and light, light pinks, um, light reds and stuff like that. 
So I put the IMG in with this video because I, I do have the IMG BPI and we'll take a look at her. So the funny thing about this is these two, these two are sisters out of the same litter. She hated me from day one and she still hates me. So she's all, you can tell she's all fired up. Her muscles are all going crazy. And then she's got that little S, uh, stance going on right there so she's gonna strike and this girl was really nice and then all of a sudden within the last two weeks she probably less than two weeks she's kind of mean <laughs> so um i guess they're sisters so what do you expect but she's changed a lot she's already shut out for me twice since i got her and we can see she's really really dark on her side so what i know um, a lot of times is, or what I've seen or in hearing is that the sides get really dark, but the top of them get darkish, but retain some of the color and pattern. And then their head gets, um, gets the black markings, but should possibly stay where we can see some coloration on her. And then she has really nice reds on her tail and then white. So I don't think her tail should get too crazy. So hopefully she doesn't strike at the camera, but she's been known to do that lately. Um, just a heads up. But I really, really like the, uh, how it's integrated with the IMG, with the VPI. Yeah, so she's getting fired up. <laughs> so, <sighs> we got three, three anger snakes. I don't know what's going on with the girls this month. These, these two and then my um, Argentine lit me up on the last video, but just, I mean, they just look really, really nice. And I do apologize. My neighbor just decided to mow the lawn when I uh, wanted to do a video. So if you guys are hearing a lawnmower in the background, I do apologize. But I don't really want to stress her out too much. I don't know what her deal is. Hopefully we can get her calmed down, the VPI Aztec calm down soon because I don't want to have angry nice snakes or any angry snake at all but that is it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some snakes um, hopefully i didn't butcher up this video too much on uh, the names or anything like that so hopefully i got a lot of the information correct again no means at all a expert far from a novice I still feel like I'm in the beginner stages trying to learn all this stuff and every day I learn something new about these animals on how to handle them, how to, how to interact with them, uh, feeding schedules, what to feed them and all this other stuff. I mean it's never ending on learning new things with your animals and your, and your pets but hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend and I'll see you guys on the next video.